एस चांद प्रेजेंट एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम In a previous lecture of the recursion, we have studied about the head recursion, tail recursion. In this lecture, we will study about the tree recursion and nested recursion. I am Dr. Shriyash Atri, and these are the some good books from the S. Chand Publishing. Tree recursion. Tree recursion happens when a recursive call is more than once in a recursive case there, there is a one recursive case and inside that recursive case we are having more than one recursive case when this happens that becomes the tree recursion and the very good example to understand the re, uh, recursion tree recursion is fibonacci series so in tree recursion what happens there is a one term that term is divided into two equal parts this is first part this second part then again this first part divided into the two another parts and this part is divided into the another part and this process is going on until unless we are not uh, we are not uh, we are not getting our solution so let's understand this concept of tree recursion with the help of fibonacci series but what is fibonacci series let's understand this fibonacci series if i write the numbers like that 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 and so on so this type of series is called fibonacci series now what is the meaning of this series and how we are getting this series let's suppose this is the term okay this is the zeroth term this is the first term this is the second third fourth fifth sixth okay now see this what is going on here this fifth term this five this fifth how we are getting this fifth term this fifth term is we are getting this fifth term the value of fourth term plus the value of third term okay the fourth the value of fourth term is 3 plus the value of third term is 2 okay and the value of fifth term is 5 so 3 plus 2 is 5 so when this process is goes on that means the addition of previous two terms becomes a third term that is called fibonacci series let's see this again this is the sixth term so again t6 is equal to t5 plus t4 and the t fifth term is 5 and t fourth term is 3 and t sixth term is 8 okay so t sixth term is 8 that means t5 plus t4 so this type of terms or this type of series is called the fibonacci series then we can say like that if there is a nth term okay then the output of this nth term is t n minus 1 plus t n minus 2 so this is the concept of fibonacci series and this concept we will implement in a recursion let's begin the and understand the concept of tree recursion using this concept so here is a program of fibonacci series for using the tree recursion okay uh, let's one by one understand this this is a term enter the terms that means how many terms you want you want fifth five terms six terms okay if there are six terms then your output will be come up to eight if there are five terms then your output come up to the five okay so for i equal to 0 i less than term i plus plus and print print f this is the fifth function and when this fifth function call my control goes here and the value of i the value of i is initially 0 okay now inside the 0 what happens 0 is less than 
if this condition comes then we need to return the value of n now where it is going to return it is going to return here okay 0 is less than 2 yes condition is true then it is going to return 0 here and in this print statement 0 is going to print again uh, i will increase now i plus plus i becomes 1 again here the 1 goes 1 is less than 2 again it will return 1 here and it is going to print, print 1 here now i plus plus i becomes 2 here so 2 is less than equal to 2 no condition is false then it goes into the else part in else part what it is written it is written fib n minus 1 plus fib n minus 2 now this is called recursive call is more than once when recursive call is more than once in a one statement this is called the tree recursion okay i hope you can easily understand this and correlate this term uh, which i have discussed in the previous slide now understand this i am writing this statement here fib n minus 1 plus fib n minus 2 okay now here the value of n is 2 so 2 minus fib of 2 minus 1 is 1 plus fib of 2 minus 2 is 0 now this is another function call this is another function call and when this term come again my control goes here with the value of 1 okay here the meaning of n is 1 return n now where it is going to return 1 is less than 2 return 1 where it is going to return it is going to return here from where it is there was a call 1 plus again now this thing happens fib 0 0 is less than 2 again the value return will be the value will be returned here 0 now 1 plus 0 is 1 now this the meaning of this whole function is become 1 okay when my term is 2 so it is going to print 1 here I hope this is clear to you now okay so let me uh, make you understand in more elaborative way okay let's understand if i am having fib 5 that means the value of n is 5 so how it is going to take place fib 5 fib 5 5 minus 1 4 and 5 minus 2 3 so what happens here now we can easily write at fib 4 and then fib 3 again this fib 4 is divided into two parts okay that is fib 3 this is fib 2 and this part is again divided into 2 2 and fib 1 this part is again divided into two parts fib 2 and then fib 1 and this is again divided into two parts fib 1 and fib 0 this is only okay there is no need to more division here and this is again divided into two parts fib 1 and fib 0 this is again in the same fib 1 and fib 0 and this is only fib 1 now see this is called the tree okay and how this tree is going to recurse fib 1 when the fib 1 is there it goes here the value of n is 1 so 1 is less than 2 yes it is true then it will return 1 here the output of this function recursive call is 1 this is fib 0 then the output of this recursive call is 0 so 1 plus 0 you can write the plus sign between all this recursion because we are following this statement okay now the fib 2 is 1 here and this fib 1 the fib 1 is again 1 okay now 1 plus 1 is 2 the output of this fib 3 is 2 
now again fifth two this place this is also one this is zero one plus zero one okay this is one so two plus one is three so fifth four is now three now come here this part this is one this is zero okay fifth two is again one this is fifth one the output here is one so one plus one is two here so fifth three is two now so the output of this statement is two now this here is three and here is two again three plus two is five so the output of this fifth five is five and this five will return here and then it will print the output so in similar manner we will get the output like that 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 and so on so this is all about the fibonacci series so this is the end of part 1 in which we have studied about the tree recursion with the help of fibonacci series and these are the some good books from the s chan publishing I hope you are liking this video so please do subscribe like and share thank you All rights reserved this video has been prepared for educational purposes only no part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder